UCLA Pavilion, Darren Preston, Jesse Tupac, Dan Connors with you. UCLA hosting Cal State Northridge, UC Santa Barbara in town Friday night. We'll also have that one for you on the Bruin Radio Network. 7 p.m. first serve for that as well. Five minutes to air. Five minutes to seven, we will be on the air. Let's go through the starting lineups. Cal State Northridge sitting at Six and four in the MPSF in fifth place. Eight and seven overall. They've won six of the last eight and three in a row. Isaac Newbel is on the outside. Six one junior from Hawaii. James Lisher blocks middle. Six eight senior from San Diego University City High School. One of the main blockers for the Matadors. Sean Carter is a libero wearing the bright red jersey tonight. Six foot freshman out of Valencia. Valencia High School. In fact, he was high school teammates with Kevin Kerr, the center for the Bruins, starting the night. Dan Rhodes had a 41 kill week last week in eight sets against UCSD and Long Beach State, both Matador victories. 6'5 senior opposite out of Virginia. Travis Bloomling is a center, 6'4 junior from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Kevin McNiff, very solid freshman from Tucson, Arizona, 6'7 middle blocker, number three in the MPSF with a 488 hitting percentage, number eight in the league in blocks per game, 1.33. Eric Vance on the outside, 6'4", sophomore out of Camarillo High. Head coach of the Matadors is Jeff Campbell in his ninth season. Once again, the Matadors have won six of the last eight volleyball matches, three in a row, to get over the 500 mark at eight and seven overall, six and four in the league, sitting in fifth, right on top of BYU all of a sudden. For the Bruins, wearing the gold libero jersey, Tony Kerr, two-time All-American, 5'11", junior, out of Valencia. Jamie Diefenbach gets a start tonight. Quick hitter, 6'8", redshirt sophomore, out of Newport Beach. Garrett Mwanga Tatia, a freshman, is out there. Had his career high, in fact, against the Matadors on the 19th of January with, nine, with uh, 22 kills. Kevin Kerr is the starting setter tonight for the Bruins. Freshman out of Valencia High, won a CIF title there. Kevin, of course, the younger brother of Tony. Steve Klosterman, last year's Final Four MVP. Klosterman coming off a 19-kill performance in Palo Alto in the win up at Stanford. Klosterman, 6'7", senior opposite out of Long Beach. Paul George, a couple of double-figure kill matches in Northern California last weekend, 10 in Stockton, 11 in Palo Alto. Paul George, another senior. He hails from Chatsworth, 6'5". And Brett Perrine, the final one, 6'5", redshirt freshman, quick hitter out of Costa Mesa. The head coach in his 45th season is Al Skates. He's won 19 national championships. Brian Rofer, JT Wenger are the assistants. Matadors in their road white with red trim letters and numbers. UCLA in its home white with blue trim letters and numbers. 61st meeting all time between the Bruins and Matadors. UCLA has won 53 of the previous 60, but in recent memory, the row team has been very successful in this series. This year, the Bruins won in Northridge. Last year, Northridge won here, and the Bruins won in Northridge. And in 2005, the Bruins uh, lost to Northridge on this floor in the MPSF tournament. So, Northridge in fifth, UCLA in seventh, and the Bruins two back in the loss column of Cal State Northridge as we speak. There is another big MPSF showdown going on tonight up in Santa Barbara where UC Irvine is in the Thunderdome. Battle for second place tonight up there. With Pepperdine leading at the moment. All right, Kevin Kerr will start it off for the Bruins. He will be serving from left to right, and that's the way the Bruins will be attacking in this first game. We are on the way from Polite Pavilion. Up front, Bloomling, right away, they run the middle for James Lisher. He cannot get it down. Wonga Satia takes a swing, and he lobs one a little bit long of the baseline, and the Matadors have struck first. Eric Vance serving. Vance. 6'4", sophomore hitter from the far corner. Serves, taken by Tony Kerr. 10-foot line set, Kevin. Back set to Paul George. And on the first two tries, the Bruins have misfired. Cal State Northridge, 2 to nothing in the first game. 
Vance, jump serve, it's in play, taken in the back by Tony Kerr, get it up front, Kevin, left side, Kloschman cross court, did it get down, apparently not, dug up by Sean Carter, over two blocks, whistle blows, and now they're gonna say the ball got down. And it looked like it was down, but they let it go. Yeah, that ball, hit the, that ball hit the floor. It was just a close play, and the, the upper ref didn't want to make the call too soon. <laughs> All right, two to one. Bruins on the board. First time tonight. Bloomling up front. Backwards he goes. Dan Rhodes cross court. Dug up by Paul George. Kevin Kerr, a long way to go. He tracks it down, brings it back in play for Garrett. He sends it over on the free ball. Bloomling run the middle for Lisher, and he'll go straight down. And it is three to one, Northridge in this opening frame. Yeah, expect uh, Northridge to go to Lisher a lot. He's uh, their senior leader, and uh, he's going to get a lot of sets. So UCLA is going to have to figure out a way to stop him. North, yeah, Northridge very solid in the middle this year. Back set, Kloschman cross court, and Steve will get it down on the right side. And that's a mismatch right there, Klosterman against Newble. Um, big height advantage for the Bruins and uh, jumping advantage too. Klosterman hits much higher level than Newble gets blocking. Bruins down by one early in game one. Brett Perrine, tall jump serve, barely clears the top of the tape. Bloomling for McNiff, a soft touch, overpass. Newble can't get it down, dug up by Garrett. Another overpass, and Jamie Diefenbach. Uh, I guess the block stayed on the Bruins side, so the, the uh, Matadors are up four to two. Jamie just got a little turnaround on the block there, and he was too far off the net to block that back onto Northridge's side. Northridge attacking from right to left in this first game. Bloomling serves, ball taken by Moanga Tatia. Kevin Kerr back to Garrett, left side, finds a wide open middle. Garrett, who had a career night in, well, one of his first collegiate matches ever up at the Matadome on January 19th. He had 22 kills that night, and uh, it is four to three Northridge in game one. Steve Klosterman, left to right, jump it up. Good server for the Bruins. Nice serve. Bloomling up front. They run McNiff in the middle. Dug up by Paul George. Garrett trying to play it off the net. Not going to happen. Point Northridge, 5-3. Okay, Kevin. And Isaac Newell serving. Junior from Hawaii. Northridge coming off a pair of wins at home against Long Beach State and UC San Diego. Kevin Kerr up front. Diefenbach, double block. Covered nicely by Kloschman. Left side, Garrett cross court and put it right in the fist of Sean Carter, who can't bring it back up. And another kill by Garrett. 5-4 Northridge. It's good to see uh, Garrett to get off to a nice hot start to start this match. Uh, he's playing well right now. Jump serve, left to right, clears the top of the tape. Newble, excuse me, Bloomling in the middle, and hitting the antenna this time is Eric Vance on the left side. Yeah, that yeah. mistake by Eric, by Eric, he should have gone cross court with that ball. Uh, ball was set a little wide and he tried to go down the line and just threw it right into the antenna. Malanga Tatia, a tall toss on the serve. Bloomling in the middle, run left side. Vance, this time trying to go cross court, but rejected by both Diefenbach and Kevin. They'll do it again, clear the triple block, dug up by Tony Kerr. Kevin backwards to Klosterman, double block and wide. Steve Klosterman, right side. And Steve has had a lot of success against these Matadors. He had 30 kills against Northridge last year. Yeah, Northridge tends to commit with the middles, and uh, that leaves the... Uh the uh, seam wide open, and Northridge is late getting there, and uh, Klosterman just tools off the middle blocker. 6-5, meanwhile, he sends one into the net on a service error. After the Bruins had taken their first lead, it's 6-6. <coughs> Biggest lead for either team so far has been two. Up front, Kevin Kerr, left side, Paul George, cross court, dug up by McNiff, and it's going wide on the Bruins side. Paul George, a kill. McNiff, one of the better freshmen, I think, in the MPSF this year. He's 6'7", can do, do a lot of things well, including dig, and he's putting up some big numbers uh, at the net. Bruins by one. Vance to Bloomling in the middle, backwards to Rhodes, off two touches. Dan Rhodes coming off a 41-kill week. Gets uh, a kill on the right side there, seven up. Rhodes back to serve. Go, Carter. Watch jump. Senior from Virginia. Hit. Jump. Kevin Kerr backwards to Klosterman, left side, and Northridge really spread out on that play. Yeah, that time Vance made a mistake. He came all the way over to the right side of the court and committed on the middle when, when Northridge had two blockers over there already, and he just gave up a wide open D to Klosterman. Bruins back on top. Kevin Kerr near corner, jump serve, left to right. Matadors have it. Blooming up front, Lisher. Can't get it down. Dug up Tony Kerr. 
Mwanga Satia from 10 feet out. Off three blockers, good for a Garrett Mwanga Satia kill. It's 9-7. Kevin Kerr serving. Biggest lead for UCLA at 9-7. Jump serve, Kevin Kerr, nice and hard. A serve, he goes right down the near sideline. Eric Vance reaching over for it and cannot get to it. Kevin Kerr puts the Bruins ahead by three. It's a great serve by Kerr, taking advantage of one of Northridge's weaker passers. 10 will serve seven. Kevin gets his whistle, jump it up, and the ball is in play for Vance. Get it to Bloomling, left side Vance, cross court. Did he get the sideline? He did, cross court with no room for error. Great pass. Right on the line. It is 10 to eight. Eric Vance back to serve. Jump it up, and the ball is in play. A near ace, taken nicely by Tony. Oh. Left side, Klosterman. Far sideline he goes, and he knocks one down on the line. That's going to bring up head coach Jeff Campbell out of his seat. Bruins are up by three, never more than that. Great smart set there by Kevin Kerr. Pushed all the way to one side, throws it over to his outside. Front, Bloomling, left side, Newble, cross court, whistle blows. Someone was in the net, I think. Yeah, it looked like it was Perrine on that. James Lister will be serving a few feet wide of the near corner. Flat serve, taken far side by Mwanga Tatia. Kevin Kerr, Perrine go out two blockers, look out to our left, they bring it back in play. And on the free ball, Bloomling sets it over. Left side, Mwanga Tatia off two blockers, and Garrett gets another kill. He is hitting well in this first game. That's his fourth kill and five swings. Bruins are 10 of 14 on their swing so far, 571. Northridge at 357. Service error by Perrine, it goes wide, 12-10, Bruins. Too quiet. Go, Eric. Foshman, perfect five for five, by the way. 12-10, UCLA. Travis Bloomling will serve from right to left. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Northridge. A lot of players from out of California. Right side, Kloschman off two blocks. Dug up again by the Bruins. Back set, Kloschman. He goes near sideline again. That one-on-one -on -one matchup with Nubel. Yeah, the Northridge Matadors are going to struggle with that all night if they can't get two blockers out there. Kloschman back deep for UCLA. Jump it up, and it hits the tape. Ball taken by Newville. Ten-foot line set, Blooming, left side, cross-court, Rhodes, missed the corner. Point Bruins. 14-10, biggest lead of the night. UCLA really seems to be in control of this match thus far in the night. Northridge led up by a couple early on. 5-3, the Bruins now lead up by four. Kloschman just got an ace. Nobody home in the back. Northridge really out of position of late. Yeah, that was a great serve by Klosterman. Kind of took it off his wrist and cut it with some weird spin. And that went right at one uh, receiver and tailed away from him. We're not able to catch up with that ball. He got the ace. Biggest lead for the Bruins, 15 to 10. Halfway home in the first as you listen to UCLA Men's Volleyball and see so things tightening up pretty so quickly. So far in, in this league. game, it's been uh, the story of Garrett Mwagatatia and Steve Klosterman hitting 600 and 857 respectively. 15-10 Bruins, Kloschman gets another nice serve in. Vance up front to McNiff, off a of Garrett touch and down. McNiff in the middle, might go to him a lot tonight. Very good blocker and hitter. Top 10 in the league in both categories. It's 15-11. Newball jump it up, far corner, and puts it in play. Tony Kerr get it to Kevin. Deep and block, right down the middle he goes off the left fist of Sean Carter. It's 16-11. Great high swing by Deep there. He hit over two blockers. Bruins by five for the second time. Jump serve, Garrett put it in play for Sean Carter. The libero left side, Vance. Cross court dug up by Tony Kerr. Get it to brother Kevin. Left side, Paul George off two blocks. And Paul George gets a left side kill, 17-11. And Kevin Kerr tonight's doing a great job of moving his offense around. He's got all of his hitters contributing to the offense tonight. Bruins by six as the freshman, Garrett Mwanga Tatia will serve. Floor being mopped up on the Northridge side. That gives 
Coach Campbell a chance to speak with Eric Vance. Garrett jumping up, middle of the baseline. It's a nice serve, taking near sideline up front. Trying to dish it over is McNiff. Bruins get to it, left side. George, double block, covered by Klosterman. Bruins on the run. George, left side. And it is good for a kill. Three blockers there, couldn't get it down. Yeah, the blockers for Northridge were a little late getting over the net, and George took advantage, squeaked it through, and got the kill. Bruins on a 15-6 run. UCLA 18-11. Blooming, back set, Rhodes off two blockers right there, Kevin Kerr, set it up, Tony, bump it up, left side, George, clear the triple block, and what eyesight that time by Paul George to clear three blockers, and again, Northridge a little bit out of position. They had everybody up and everybody back, nobody there to cover. Yeah, that's right, that's supposed to be the uh, right back defender's ball, and uh, he got deep on the triple block and was completely out of position to get that ball. Biggest lead of the night, 19 to 11 UCLA in game one, as you listen to UCLA men's volleyball on CSTV. And Gaucho is hosting Irvine tonight in a huge MPSF showdown. 19-11, jump serve, Mwanga Tatia out of the timeout. Bloomling in the middle, left side, Vance. He'll get it down, cross court. Eric Vance, James Lisher back to the front. And Kevin McNiff, the freshman, will serve. And we're going to have a sub. Ali Kiyoho, the 5'7 freshman libero from Newberry Park. That's right. I think we can uh, expect a short serve here from Ali'i. And it is. Cross court. Taken far sideline by George. Back set. Kloshman off a couple of blocks. No one's going to get there. Another Steve Kloshman kill. He is now 7 for 8 without an error. So Ali will take a seat, as will McNiff, and Diefenbach will serve from the far side, and he'll send over a flat serve, left to right, middle of the court. Vance beat it left side, and he'll go off the fist of Foshman, upset with himself. 20 to 13 Bruins. Yeah, that time the ball was set tight uh, by Northridge, and Kerr was not able to get out there and put up a solid block on the line. He just got beat. Dan Rhodes, jump it up. It's over, taken by Mwanga Tatia. Kevin Kerr pulls it back for Brett Perrine. He'll slam it right down the middle. Great touch on the set there by Kerr. He went up with one hand and was able to pull it back for uh, the middle Perrine to put away. 21-13. Kevin Kerr, jump serve, near corner. Very fast for Eric Vance. Right side, cross court, Rhodes missed it unless he got a touch, he did not. Point UCLA. Another smart serve by Kerr going after uh, Northridge's weakest passer. Passed that ball 12 feet off the net. Was only given two options, and the Bruins took advantage. Bruins running away with game one, 22 to 13. Northridge led it by two a couple of times early on. Nice serve by Kevin Kerr. Middle, Bloomling, Paul George rejects him. Left side, Vance. Double block taken by Lisher in the back to, to uh, Vance. Trying to tip it over. Triple block. Northridge has it. Far set, Rhodes, let it drop too much. Kloshman's got it, middle of the court. Kevin back to Steve, tip shot. Dug up by Lisher, overpass. Kloshman takes care of business for the eighth time tonight in nine tries. Biggest lead of the night, 23 to 13, UCLA. Great rally there for UCLA, really using their height in the block to shut down Northridge's offense. Jump serve, left to right. Kevin Kerr nearly sends over an ace. Nice get by Newble. Right side, Rhodes is stuffed, but somehow goes back over to the Bruins side. Look out, Potty's flying all over the place. On the Matador side, Vance losing his balance over, over uh, Rhodes, and Rhodes looks hurt. Polly Pavilion goes silent, and Rhodes Whipping off the court. Yeah, it looked like he twisted his ankle on that play. That's too bad. Rhodes is a good player and good guy. Mm. Boy, that does not look good at all. Okay, I guess we'll make this up. <laughs> okay, so the replacement is going to be Ryan Adams. 6'5", sophomore opposite from San Marcos, who has played in about half of Northridge's MPSF games this year. 
Ryan gets most of his playing time uh, used as blocking purposes. He's a, a big block up there, got nice big hands. Um, let's see what they can do uh, using him in the offense. 24-13 Bruins, game one. Kevin Kerr on a roll, jump it up, ball in play for Sean Carter, Bloomling in the middle, James Lisher gets it down. That'll stop a 3-0 Bruins streak, 24-14. Vance, jump it up, and into the net, he goes on the service air, 25-14. Bruins hitting 640 in this first game. 18-2-25 for the line. George puts it in play, Bloomling in the middle for Lister, double block, back to Bloomling. Sean Carter set it up left side, cross court Newball, the block is beautifully placed by Steve and Brett, near corner, wow, that's a nice block. 26-14. Both blockers got up there on that play and penetrated the net, which is the most important thing about blocking. Whistle. Is Northridge out of rotation? Yeah. Yeah. Northridge Libera was in front of Isaac Newell, the outside hitter for Northridge there, which places them out of rotation. 27-14. to 14. Bruins. Biggest lead. Middle of the court, Bloomling, soft attack by Lishier, off the net, played by Perrine, free ball given up by George. Northridge has it, left side, Newble from 10 feet out, double block, and another stuff. Perrine and Klosterman up there, 28-14. This game one, how it's unraveled, guys, is uh, amazing. Northridge had a couple of early leads. The Bruins have just uh, ran away with it. Yeah, Northridge has not had any answer at all for uh, the offense at UCLA, and, and UCLA has come out with a nice game plan and has been able to stop the uh, the Northridge offense. George sends one wide on the serve, 28-15. Lisher serving. <coughs> and he'll send it over cross court, taken by Moanga Tatia. Kevin Kerr backs that. Kloshman goes off a touch and down. Steve Kloshman. Wow, this. What a remarkable set for Steve. Yeah, there's that matchup again with uh, Kloshman against Newbel. Uh, Newbel just is going to struggle all night with it if he keeps getting that matchup. Brett Perrine, set point. Up front, Bloomling in the middle. Blocked by the Bruins. Back to Newbel. 10-foot line set. Isaac on the left side again. Blocked. Boom blocking all over the place here. 10-foot line attack. Vance go off the tape, and he got it somehow. Off the tape and through three Bruin blockers, 29-16. Yeah, Bruins ball, aren't worried. Just down the line there. 13 more game points to deal with. 29-16. Ball sent over by Bloomling. Paul George to Kevin Kerr. Diefenbach, and that'll do it. Game one is done. UCLA 30. Cal State Northridge 16. The Matadors had a lead, a, a lead of 5-3 to three early in this game, and the Bruins would go on to win 27 of the next 38 points in the first set. Yeah, the Bruins came out, made a nice statement to start this match. Uh, their offense is running on all cylinders, hitting 654. And uh, defensively, they're doing a great job against uh, Northridge's offense, only allowing uh, 11 kills on 36 swings and uh, limiting Northridge to hitting a 139 hitting percentage. Of the Boy, team. that's that's a better than a 500 percentage point difference between the Bruins and the Matadors, 654 to 139, and and uh, as a result, you get the final score of 30 to 16. In the first game, Steve Foshman at nine kills, 11 swings without an error. Have we seen any Bruin this year have a better set than Steve just did? Yeah, Steve's just having a really dominant game right now. He's not making any errors, and he's going out there and really taking advantage of the height difference between him and the man blocking him on Northridge, Isaac Newell. Meanwhile, uh, Paul George and Garrett Mwangatatia each with four kills. George hit at 500, Garrett hit at 600. Blocking, two to nothing in favor of UCLA.